Hey guys, so today I'll show you how to make uh, the wrapped fire macro for the Logitech uh, mouses and keyboards. Um, a lot of people requested this. So let's get straight to the video. Um, I'm going to put this link in the description to download um, the, the software for Logitech. Um, so it's called Logitech G Hub. Just go to the website and click download for Windows. And open open the installer. Um, hit yes. Click install. And once it's done installing, it's going to ask you um, to allow access. Uh, it might not ask you. In some cases, it does. So just allow it, and then uh, just skip through this to get to the actual software. It'll show you your mouse that is connected, and then it'll take you to the actual software. So once you're done installing the software and you skip the intro, this is where you're going to be. It's going to show all your devices that's connected. This is the mouse I have. So click on the mouse and it will take you to the screen. So now, um, as you can see, I already have a macro applied over here, but I'll show you how to make it and reapply it. So uh, go to the macro screen and I have the macro made over here, but you can hit create new macro. You can name it rapid fire test. And for this macro, we're going to select this option, uh, which is repeat while holding. It's because uh, when you're shooting fast in a game, you need to you want to just hold the button instead of um, toggle or doing a sequence. So select this option. So once you're here, you can check this option uh, called show key down and up. This will show you uh, the delays between both uh, the down and up key. So check that and uh, click start now. Hit record keystrokes. And once you're here, you want to click once, twice, three times. So make sure you click somewhere over here. If you click uh, any other place, sometimes it doesn't work. So once you're done clicking three times, uh, you can stop recording, hit save, and then go back to the rapid fire test macro or whatever you named it. And now you're going to check this button, which says use standard delays, uncheck it. So these delays right now are 50 milliseconds. We're going to change them to five just so they are faster. So change them all to five and then hit save. So now you have this macro already made. So now uh, you need to assign it to a key. So um, it, uh, I prefer it on one of these side buttons as I have it over there. So just to assign it to the side button, all you need to do is uh, click on it on whichever button you want. So I'm going to drop it on this one. So now I have it on both of these. These are the same exact macro. So once you're done with that, it should be good to go.